The Koreans currently make the top selling cars all across the globe with premium quality cars that are feature rich at a price that the West just cannot compete with. They're even tapping into the enthusiast market now. But in India, meh. They do sell a lot of cool performance cars outside of India, stuff like the i20 and the i30 and the Kona N. But when it comes to India, they only sell N line products. A little bit more souped up than your regular everyday i20, but really not a performance car. But what if you want to take those matters into your own hands? This is a completely stock Hyundai Verna 1.6 CRDI, which was very well praised for its handling and comfort, but it was criticized for its lack of oomph. And this over here is a valley run podium finisher. You've seen this car on the channel in the past, but we've never got the opportunity to actually do a proper video on it. Well, this over here is a Verna 1.6 CIDI built up to stage two. And I'm gonna tell you all about this car today. When the Verna first launched, it captured most of its market by being pretty much the most comfortable car in its segment and also the safest. It came with six airbags from factory and it was the first ever car in its segment to come with so many airbags. But it had a little bit of an issue for the performance enthusiast. While this car was super comfortable and super safe, it was a little bit of a setback for the enthusiast because while it had so many more features than the competition, it wasn't as involving to drive. The handling is fantastic. You take it to a B-road and you chuck it through corners, it will keep up with you. And the suspension is also pretty soft, so you're going to be okay in the city. However, the engine is a little bit of a setback. The stock form Verna 1.6 CRDI comes with 130 bhp and 265 newton meters of torque, which is a respectable number. But the way it's delivered feels like the car is a little choked. It's like it wants to scream and shout, but it's being held by its throat. I wish there was a way to make the car really sing. And that is how your family will keep the car completely stock, driving it to office every day, keeping the car showroom maintained, trying not to get the warranty void. And no matter how much you tell your dad, he just doesn't listen to you. But after a lot of cribbing, he finally decides to give you the car once and for all, just so that you can shut up and give you complete freedom to do whatever you want to do with it. On only one condition though, if something does go wrong, it is your problem. But you couldn't care less about it and are just excited to slap a stage 2 tune on the car. Moreover, the Verna 1.6 isn't really that unreliable as well. So once you get hold of your family's old car and you put on a stage 2 map with all of the supporting mods, the stock Verna used to make 128 HP and this thing with a stage 2 map intake and a bunch of other mods makes 180 HP and 400 Newton meters of torque. And well, it might not sing, but that 400 LM of torque, you can definitely feel it. And there's a lot of noise going on. There is, of course, exhaust noise. Not the best sounding car in this world, but you hear loads of intake noise and just like whooshes and swooshes from the turbo and everything like that. And it's a experience. Considering that this is probably not your first choice and it's just something that you're going to mod as a Passover from your family, well, not really bad in that sense. And it's definitely very potent with this auto diesel stage to remap and all of the other mods. And of course, to increase the handling and you know, just the stability of the car, uh, Yashab from Auto Diesel has installed a set of lowering springs as well. So it's pretty low. I have to go a little bit slower on some of the higher speed breakers, but definitely helps in the stability of the car. So the owner has spent a good four and a half lakhs on this car. 
But the thing is that four and a half lakhs is not only on the engine mods or in making more power. It's actually a lot of other things. It's in some of the cosmetic work he's done. He's painted the car black. He's done some touch-ups in the interior. He he's made it the way he's liked it. And to be fair, four and a half lakhs to get it the way you want it. Well, it's not a bad price to pay for. And as far as you're okay with the fact that you're owning a Hyundai and you know you don't have any other problems with the badge or anything like that, well, it's a pretty good car to own. Very fuel efficient as well. I mean, I've heard that Yashab from Autodesk gets like 20 kmpl, 21 kmpl on the regular uh, when he's on the highway. And even in the city, it's still pretty fuel economical with easily with it easily getting like 12 to 13 kmpl without any sort of hassle. Now, of course. Since Yashab is a good friend of ours, we keep seeing the car regularly and it's fair to say that I'm aware of the pace it's capable of. Personally, I got to be mates with him after his build was ready. So weirdly, I have never gotten the chance to sit and experience a stock Verna Gen 1. And after driving it, it genuinely felt like a day and night difference. So I called Soham back to the workshop and since he's done all the homework to review the car, I wanted to hear his thoughts on the build. Pretty fast car bro, compared to a stock car, but what are the mods dude, let's talk about that. So it does have like a stage 2 setup with all of the necessary mods, you have an intake, you have a downpipe with a full system exhaust made by uh, our boy uh, Amir at IES Performance. Uh, and it has a stage to tune by Autodesir Performance. But to keep the performance consi uh, consistent as well, uh, it's running a Garrett intercooler. Ooh. So now I think so after all of these mods and you know experimenting with the tune and everything I think so this is dyno confirmed this thing makes 180 HP and 400 Newton meters of torque which is quite a lot for this sort of a car That's almost double the amount of torque 265 to yep. 400 Yep, yep And yeah if you guys didn't know this is uh, I think so a podium finisher or a winner at the valley run and we've covered it in one of our vlogs and yeah this thing destroyed ventos polos and all of those 1.5 1.6 tdis in that same bracket and pretty impressive for a hyundai because no one really thinks of a hyundai as a tuner car but this thing is the exact opposite that's, of that that's exactly my point i'm pretty sure this stuff might be more expensive just because it is uh, a car that is basically not used as a platform that regularly. Am I right? Am I wrong? Uh, I mean, probably because some of the parts are custom. So I think so the thing is that most of the parts are not bolt-on. You have to do a lot of custom stuff here and there. Mm -hmm. So that's maybe you have to spend a little bit extra. But in general, I think so it's still a little cheaper than VAG products to mod. So what is the cost of such a stage 2 Verna build? Well, here is the price breakdown for this sort of a build. The exhaust and downpipe from IES Performance costed 35,000. Piper Cross's conical air filter was 7,500. AST suspension with 30 mm lowering springs were 15,000. Continental UC6 tires were 40,000 rupees. Front and rear Brembo brake pads were 10,600 rupees. Garrett intercooler was 63,000 rupees and the stage 2 tune from Autodesir performance was 21,000 rupees. Coming to the cosmetic mods, the custom paint job costed a whopping 2 lakh rupees. Custom interior with custom front seats were 50,000 rupees. Osram HID headlamps were 7,000 rupees. Neon engine, intercooler, and interior lights were 1,000 rupees, bringing the total cost of the build to 4,50,100 rupees. Considering that not everyone will be doing the cosmetic mods for just the stage 2 performance setup, it costed the owner 1,92,100 rupees. For such a price, you get a very nicely built car that is different from a lot of other builds that you see in India. And with the 400 new meters of torque, you will be gapping people, leaving behind nothing but a big black cloud of smoke. This thing is basically what we tuner boys actually love. It's making probably what is a mundane, boring family car into something that's actually very exciting and something that can put a big smile on your face. I think so this car sums it up pretty well because the Hyundai Verna 1.6 diesel in its stock form, well, it's nothing really to talk about. It's a pretty good, you know, family car. It's nothing special or, you know, it doesn't put a smile on your face. It's 
for the people who want to go from point A to point B. But this stage two uh, Verna 1.6 CRDI built by Autodesk Performance. Well, this is something very different to your Verna that is stock. It's pretty loud inside. It makes a ton of power for what it is. And it's pretty fun to drive. And it's great to know that a lot of people are getting their hands on a bunch of different cars. And this is a really cool build in that sense because, yeah, Hyundai isn't the first car that comes to your mind when you think about tuning. And, well, this car is the exact opposite of that. If I'm not wrong, it has won in a category uh, in Valley Run, I think so, last year or last to last year. I mean, it was in our team. So, you know, it's a pretty cool car. Today we tried a different approach as to how to explain the gains and differences between a stock car and a stage 2 car and we thought the Verna was the best example. We had quite a fun day at the office and we hope you all feel the same. Yep, and let us know in the comments down below what you think of this new style of video. If you liked it, give us a like or if you didn't, give us a dislike. Comment down below what you think of this amazing stage 2 Verna and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.